Waterfall. So I must admit, like last week, I watched the uh, t uh, the Senate hearings. I watched uh, Christine Blasey Ford. I watched her uh, testimony, uh, and I was touched. And I was also a bit ashamed. And I said, I alluded to uh, some of that last week. Uh, I have said some of the very same things I hear these men saying. Well, if she didn't, and how come she waited, and and all and all the excuses that we tend to make. I I uh, I think I've been a man. Uh, over 50 years, and I've never been more ashamed to be a man. I've never been more ashamed of the things I have heard people say and the things I recognize in myself having said. Uh, and I think that a lot of men are having an epiphany. A lot of men, because of this thing, playing out in the national, uh, in front of a national audience, in front of our country, in front of the world, actually, a lot of men are learning that some of the very same things that Dr. Ford talked about happened to their daughter. I know that I have uh, experiences that I can never take back. You are supposed to be able to protect your daughters. You're supposed to be able to protect your children. And when you fail like that and you continue to do it, uh, it is uh, something, it's an abiding sense of shame that I don't know uh, how you recover from. But I can say this, that you don't uh, show shame and you don't show regret by doing that to someone else's daughter. You don't look the other way. How many times over the course of this last week have you seen men who are horrified at the thought of some of the very things that they've heard about uh, have happened to the children and women that they love, little girls that they love. If, if, if it is that we are responsible for the women in our lives, that should extend out to everyone else. I'm not saying you have to believe everybody, but I'll say this. If somebody makes an anon anonymous allegation and they're not willing to stand and, and, and say that this is what happened, maybe that's one thing. But that woman stood in front of men who were trying to humiliate her. She took a polygraph, uh, and she was willing to have herself investigated. Liars do not do that. They don't. Mm. Liars lie. Liars hide. Liars pretend and say different things. They don't look you in the eye, tell you what they have to say, even if their voice is shaking, and challenge you to call them a liar, challenge you to disprove their story, challenge you to pick it apart. And I've learned something else. I think that men are horrible. And I think a lot of the things we've done are beyond reproach. But it is the women who accomplice, who, who are our accomplices that I have a word for. You don't need men to believe you. We need women to start believing women. We need you to start believing you. Men are robbing the bank, but a lot of these women are the getaway drivers. Look at all these women. Kellyanne Conway came out and said, I, 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 that happened to me. And you, 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 you pay that experience off by uh, betting someone else doing it. You need, women need to start believing women. Look at all the things they show when stuff like this come out. Focus groups of women going, I believe she's a liar. Look at all the women who supported Roy Moore Jr. Look at all the people who voted for Donald Trump. Look at the fact that 52% of educated white men and women did it. It ain't men's minds you need to change. I think that the first thing you need to do is change the people around you. If women need to start believing women, because they're the first people people get to disprove you. Whenever you don't want somebody to believe a woman, you call another woman to refute her. You are, so, and you are aiding and abetting the people who only want to savage you. Men are horrible. We are robbing the bank. But you are betting us and driving the getaway car. Look at what Sarah Huckabee does today. Look at look look at look at what all these women they roll out. And, and what, when you mock, when, when if you were if Kellyanne Conway was in truth, uh, uh, and I have no doubt because I don't even doubt her. I don't doubt that she was sexually assaulted. But why didn't she say anything while Donald Trump was mocking someone who was a victim? Why didn't why why doesn't anybody say this is enough? You can't do this on my watch. Not Nikki Haley, not, not Sarah Huckabee, not Kellyanne Conway. When you look at all the people who've been accused of all these things, their most vociferous uh, uh, supporters were women. Bill Cosby, women. Donald Trump, women. Roy Moore Jr., women. Kavanaugh, women. Look at them wearing women for Kavanaugh, despite what happens. You're the first people they get. You are the sellouts of your gender. The people who believe stuff like that and who abet stuff like that are the sellouts. You are the Uncle Toms of your gender. 
You need to start believing you before other people do. You should have, be the first one to have your back. You should be the last one they want to come to. When you start believing you, you can make the world do it too. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got a jazz report. That's coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley.